Central Texas. We in the building. Why I say?
our way to Dunkin' Donuts. We are going to grab something to eat. We are going to go to Walmart. We are going to go to Dee Dee's. And you guys are going to join us. We're going to see some deals. <laughs> and some cute shit. Some cute shit. Y'all going to Dunkin' Donuts? Texas style, baby. trip to Walmart and just went to gather a few things that I usually have in my suitcase for when I travel but I ran out and I was just telling my cousin usually the stuff stay inside of the suitcase or the bag so that when it's time to pack I don't have to pack everything because everything is like trial size I needed lotion I had some cheap lotion from the hotel that I took one time and it didn't do anything last night when I got out the shower. I got this lint roller. I got a trial size of Listerine to keep your breath fresh. Some nice little body spray for a nice fresh spritz. Need the Vaseline for my dry ass heels. I mix that with the lotion, make a little concoction, you know what I'm saying? A little Pepto Bismo in case you got a little upset stomach. Coconut oil. Yeah, self explanatory. Got some Huggy Whites. And I got some washcloths. Because where we are, the Airbnb we are at, for whatever reason, they supply towels and didn't supply. They supply towels and hand towels, but no washcloths.
are going to probably walk around. We are downtown right now. And we have reservations later on to eat at the aquarium. So I guess we're going to just kill time until then. Big ass pimple. It hurts. Oh.
by you rest just beside and behind our property. The historic Central Waterworks Building, just ahead, was built in the late 1800s. It was used to pump water from the bayou for Houston residents and for the fire stations to utilize. Over the next 100 years, as Houston grew, fresh water became apparent, and that became the end of the Waterworks Building. Now, it's home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. In the fall of 2017, Hurricane Harvey was an unprecedented storm that caused unforeseen damage to our shark tunnel and tanks. The life support systems and all electrical were destroyed. It was engulfed with 27 feet of water. If you look up to the building on your right, you'll see the marked flood lines from the last two major flood events. Pretty amazing, right? enjoyed our brief look into the exciting world of sharks. We'll continue on from here. Sharks are fascinating animals. It is amazing how adaptive they are. Have any of you heard about the great white shark that escaped from our shark tank during the last flood? Our scientific staff has searched the entire Gulf Coast trying to recapture it. It was never found, and some believe that it may still be in the Buffalo Bayou. So keep a lookout as we travel through the park. The Downtown Aquarium Project was conceived in 2001 and took 18 months to build. Wow, look at this. It looks like the great white may have spent some time around here. Look at that phone hole. That's one big bite. Hey everyone, we're approaching a bridge, so be careful not to fall out.
Today is Saturday and I am still in Texas. So technically this is kind of like day three kind of, yeah. So we leave tomorrow. So today, probably just gonna get in the pool. Um, I know we're supposed to go out to eat later. Not sure if it's gonna be like a seafood place or whatever. Um, for the most part, I like it here. I haven't really seen much because it's so big and you know, you come in here just like on an extended weekend. So it's not like you're gonna be able to see a lot of things, but I would definitely come back here. I definitely will come back here. I definitely need to go back to Dee Dee's before I leave you guys because I have to figure out how I'm gonna get these shoes back because when I came up here, I only had just enough space like in my suitcase. And um, yeah, I went to Dee Dee's and I bought two pairs of cute shoes and I need to figure out how I'm gonna get them back. Cause I flew Spirit and Spirit is trying to charge for a carry on. So I'm annoyed about that. And I am a part of the members club. So I don't know why I forgot that Spirit is different when it comes to that. I would have checked my bag a lot sooner than checking it at the airport. I know it's more expensive at the airport but I didn't realize that you only can do it online or with the app up to an hour before you leave. And when I realized it, at the time I realized it, I had enough time to do it, but then something else happened or I procrastinated and missed it by a few minutes, basically. So I ended up having to pay $65 just to have my bag checked. So today, I set my timer for 11.17 so that as soon as 11.17 come rolling in, I can already go ahead and check in and figure out if I'm going to check another bag or not. Because I can't wear two pairs of shoes. Yeah. But I'll hit y'all back. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there, including you and you and you and yes, you right over there in the back. You are special. You are special every day, but today you are extra important and special. So live it up, you ladies. Live it up and enjoy. I am currently on uh, my last couple of hours here in Houston, Texas. Um, I had a lot of fun. I did go a few places. Um, couldn't really go to too many places because, you know, it defeats the whole purpose. I kind of didn't want to get here and hit the ground running, you know, and be just trying to be here, there, and everywhere. But I was able to see enough considering that I was only here for an extended weekend. I did get a chance to go downtown. Um, I did go to the aquarium. It was pretty fun, pretty fun. So I definitely will be coming back on a scale one to 10. I would give Houston, Texas, a seven or eight. I like it here. I like it. 
everything seemed so far away. Um, it seemed like everything was like a half hour away. I don't know how I feel about that. So maybe next time I will have to <clears throat> visit a part of Texas that is more, hmm. I don't know, city-like? I don't know, it's like a city here, but it's just a difference. Yeah, it's just a difference. Anywho, the Airbnb that we stayed at, um, I like it. Um, I won't complain. Out of a scale one to 10, I would give this I would give this a seven or eight as well. It was nice, it was clean, it gave what it was supposed to give. Um, the only reason why it would be a seven or an eight is because these back doors behind us, well, those come out to the back to the pool. They haven't been locked since we've been here. So the crazy thing is they sent instructions on how to lock it, but it's like, it's a whole math to it. Like, it's, yeah. You gotta like read and learn and yeah, it's too much for vacation. It's, yeah, it's a bit much for vacation. I'ma need you to come over here and do a tutorial in person, please. I, don't, I ain't with the, sent you sending me the rules and I'm supposed to just, make them apply like it don't work like that so i don't know but yeah i ain't like that um so i went to sleep with a butcher knife under my bed every night except last night and then um what else what else what else I don't know what else, you guys. But yeah, for the most part, I enjoyed myself. So. I'll show you guys my shoes that I got from Dee Dee's. Um, I was going to show you guys um, when I went upstairs. But I kept forgetting. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. I was going to show you all my shoes when I went upstairs. But I kept forgetting. So, now I'm just going to show y'all when I get back to Connecticut. Because that could be a dope, cute way to end the damn video. Because I'm throwing all of this in one video. And y'all about to catch all this work. Hey. So, I will see y'all when we are on our way back to the airport. And I may not talk to y'all in the airport because people be staring and they be acting like I'm talking to myself even though I am talking to myself, but I'm really not talking to myself because I'm talking to y'all. Y'all just don't see it right now, but y'all gonna see it in the future. Yeah, that part.
guys. So right now, I'm basically at New, New Jersey Airport. And I am waiting for my suitcase to come on this damn long-ass carousel thingy. And I don't see it. Wonder. No. So I'll just stand over here and wait for it to come. Because it should be coming soon. I know I got to use the bathroom. guys so i'm a little confused maybe somebody could drop it down below in the comment section so i approached an employee over here in the baggage claim area and i showed him my baggage claim ticket and asked him if he can let me know which carousel thingy i need to be at because i don't see where it was specified on my baggage claim ticket and he looked at it and then he turned it around to the back and it was like a sticker thingy thing and so he turned around and he took it he took it i don't have it no more and i still don't have my suitcase but he told me where to stand and wait for that so i guess my question is is that normal like why did he take my sticker because now i don't even have proof that this is my bag even though i don't have to show anyone but i'm just saying what proof do i have i don't see my suitcase and shit i mean if if he gonna take the sticker you would have thought he would have uh made sure my shit was one of the first ones coming out because i i ask people stuff plenty of times they ain't never take the sticker Well, hopefully we'll get ours. towards New York and then Connecticut so right now we are still in New Jersey at Newark Airport hey what's up you guys so just real quickly I am back in Connecticut and I just wanted to show you the shoes that I bought I actually purchased six pairs of shoes from Dee Dee's when I was back in Houston Texas so Here we go. So these are a pair. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for these. I feel like they were like $4.99. I've already worn them. They are so comfortable. And I really, really like them. They're cute. I was looking for something yellow because I don't have anything yellow. So that worked out perfectly fine. Next up, these are... These were the most expensive was expensive ones that I purchased and they were only $24.99. These I absolutely love because I feel like I only paid like $8 for these and 
y'all, they look just like Vans, and they don't feel cheap. Like, they're mad comfortable. I bought these, and these I've already worn, I believe. I, I think these were, like, $7.99 or something like that. And I already wore them. I like these. These these remind me of like Usher shoes. <laughs> like when you go into church. <laughs> but I like them. I like the fact that they're white. I already have um some white Doc Martens. But sometimes I just want like a plain, simple, um, put to more put together look instead of um polished and thick and clunky, if that makes sense. And then these are kind of like the sneakers. These are sandals. I paid $19.99 for these. And I like these because they're brown and red. I like I just like the combination of brown and red. And then I got these. And these I think were. I don't know, y'all, but I feel like they was like maybe $11.99 or $12.99. I don't know, but these are so cute because my plans with these, um, we could wear denim jeans on Friday. So my plan with these is to wear these on a Friday with some cute little skinny leg jeans, like maybe the dark, 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 dark denim. And I have a blazer this color. So yeah, I'm going to do it up. I'm going to do it up. But, yep, that's it, y'all. Those are the six um, pairs of shoes that I purchased from Dee Dee's. And I can't wait for me to catch up with another Dee Dee's. Um, I think the next place I'm going is to Mexico. So, I don't think it, there's a Dee Dee's in Mexico. <laughs> so, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to get close to a Dee Dee's. But, definitely, if Dee Dee's ever start letting you purchase stuff online, which I strongly doubt because... It's a discount store, and it's one of them discount stores that's very, very heavily discounted. So, they may not sell stuff online, because then they'll always sell out, and they won't never have anything. But, I'm going to let y'all go. I just want to show y'all them shoes. Take this woman, Lavambria, to be your lawful wedded wife. I do. To love, to honor, and to cherish through sickness and through health through times of happiness, through times of trials and tribulations, until death do you part. I do. Do you, Lavambria, take this man, Gary, to be your lawful wedded husband, to love, honor, cherish him through sickness and through health, through periods of tranquility, through times of trials and tribulations, until death do you part. I do. Okay, hold hands. By the act of joining hands, having you join your hands, you take yourself, the relationship of a husband and a wife, and solemnly promise to love, honor, comfort, and cherish each other so as long as you both shall live. Therefore, in accordance with the law of Connecticut, by the virtual authority vested in me, by the law of Connecticut, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make it. Hey! Ew! Ew! Right. Congratulations! <laughs>